And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Now, there's some of that lingering fall color out there. We showed you in first weather out on the weather deck here. Some of the bright oranges, mainly oaks. Uh, and some of the later season red maples that are uh, kind of peaking right now, but a lot of trees are going bare now. But it's 32 for the low tonight, a little bit of frost, a few high thin cirrus clouds on there. The lows 30 to 33 viewing area wide. These temperatures, they tank when the air is this dry. After being in the 60s today, we tank into those 30s tonight and all the deep moisture. It's all down here. That's where it's going to stay and it's going to stay out here as well. We got a shot of some showers uh, by late Thursday night and Friday. Better rainfall risk comes next week when we finally open up the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific to get moisture in here. But tomorrow, look at that. 68 for the high, all that sunshine around. A little bit of an elevated brush and field fire danger tomorrow, given how dry the air is and the tender vegetation. Uh, 64 to 70, gonna do it for highs. You can't complain with that in mid-November. 70 Petersburg, 67 Fowler, mid-60s at Logansport. And still nice and warm on Thursday. A few more clouds coming in, mainly later on in the day, and it will be a pretty windy day as well. Gusts. Some places exceeding 30. Uh, winds will be sustained high up there near 20. 68 for the high after 38 in the morning. With the 68 at Attica, the mid 60s once again at Logansport and Winnemac, and about 67 at Flora. There is future cast, just a few wisps of cirrus clouds tonight and a few early tomorrow. Otherwise, it's a sunny Wednesday. You'll notice a few more clouds start to come in on Thursday. The, the morning is completely clear. But look at some of the clouds coming up from the southwest and in from the west during the day. So by evening, we are partly cloudy. And then watch a few showers that will develop as we moisten things up during the overnight hours. This is very early Friday morning at 2 a.m. And here we are overcast with some scattered showers at 7 o'clock Friday morning and some additional showers around 10 11 o'clock and right up through midday. These should exit by Friday mid afternoon. But here's the thing with the front about right here at midday. Once that front goes through, temperatures will actually fall during the afternoon after early morning highs. All right, there's the deep moisture here again. This is tomorrow. A little broader look. This could be a, a hybrid or subtropical storm that rides up the East Coast. There's some of the showers here on Friday. Could be a, a hurricane or tropical storm that hits Cuba and then moves northeastward. I'm telling you that because that just tells you all the moisture is still locked up in here until we get to early next week and finally we open up the Gulf. This is widespread rainfall, but I want you to notice something here. This is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving looks fine, by the way. Um, moisture here from the system, and there's a clipper here. The potential's there for a phasing of the two. And it's not completely out of the question that Black Friday and then the, that day after that Saturday rain, which could change to some snow as much colder air comes in. All right, two nice days, showers gradually tapering on Friday, 58, then falling into the upper 40s. Not a bad weekend. And then the rain comes back in pretty widespread next week. These rainfall totals a tenth to a third of an inch. These rainfall totals more like three quarters to one inch. And there's that rain coming in next Friday after Thanksgiving, even a little snow that next Saturday.